I'm Tiffany A. Henyer of Dalton, Illinois. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce Chicago and Illinois. Il -i -noi. Illinois. Illinois. Oh, shout out to Research and shout out to Big Tiff down there in Dalton, Illinois, child. Now, listen, this story is has nothing to do with Big Tiff. It's just the fact of what has been going on in Dalton as I do my research, okay? Shout out to CBS News. Two investigators, Dalton Public Building used for racy pool party. Oh, no, 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 no. You colors, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. The Melanie Fitness Center in South Suburban Dalton has a large pool and exercise room. Last month, the taxpayer-owned facility was used for a racy adult pool party that promoters called Dayhem. Let me see. When was this? This is from 2016, July 11th, 2016. Promoters ads touted a cash bar hookah and tickets sold for $20. Among the featured guests, a dancer named Lonnie Pop. I couldn't believe it. Trust Dalton trustee Valeria Stubbs tells CBS's twos Pam Zekman. At one point, attendees show, shower dollar bills on the exotic dancers. Well, I guess they was doing their damn thing down there, weren't they? They was making it rain on a derriere with $1 bills, Stubbs says. That, uh, that type of activity belonged at a strip joint or a private club, not at a village-owned and operated building, she adds. Mm -mm -mm. The manager of the fitness center rented the space to promoters for $500 for the July, I'm sorry, June 12th pool party. Stubbs and other officials says, says they were never consulted. Manager of the fitness center rented the space to promoters for $500 for the June 12th pool party. Stubbs and other officials say they were never consulted. The party should not have went on, Stubbs says. Mm, mm, mm. Well, who was in charge? And were they fired after this or what? Don't trustee Dwayne Muhammad chairs the fitness center committee and his son is the general manager. Uh-oh. Wait. So the Dalton trustee is Dwayne Muhammad. And he's a chair on the fitness center committee, which his son is the general manager. Is that a conflict? He says there was nothing illegal or even improper. Well, I don't know about that, sir. Calm down now. Just calm down. It was a pool party. And with a pool party, people have on bathing suits. That's how young people dance nowadays. You cannot censor how people dance at a pool party, Muhammad said. I'm sorry, what's that got to do with dollar dollar bills, y'all? Hey, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Muhammad, stop this. Muhammad, stop this. The promoter says no alcohol served and that the ad mentioning a cash bar was a mistake. Oh, oh, y'all up here talking about you made a mistake on the flyer. Come on now. Stop this. It was innocent. You don't know. Mm -hmm. He defended Pop's routine and said there was no nudity. Child, please. Dalton leaders on Monday night approved a measure to bar adult oriented pool parties at the fitness center. So the fitness center took in $500 in order to get people in there to smoke hookah, dance at the place, have alcohol. And then the trustee, the Dalton trustee said that all they did was dance like kids do today. Any excuse is better than none. Something don't sound right. The checks and balances seem like they ain't right down here at Dalton. Even back in 2019. Did I say 2019? 2016, actually, even back in 2016, there's a problem with the checks and balances. But let's watch the video, shall we? It's a community center, a taxpayer funded facility, not a place where you'd expect to find a risque pool party complete with an advertised cash bar and exotic dancing. We have video of the party, so a warning this story may not be appropriate for more sensitive viewers. Uh-uh. I know they don't have video when Muhammad just said that this was nothing but a, a nice little pool party with a mistake on the damn flyer, child. Mm-mm-mm. Child, you just don't know what's going on. This was back in 2016. 2016, CBS Chicago was on that ass, okay? To investigator Pam Zekman. Hey, Pam. South Suburban Dalton, where the party has been the subject of hot debate, Pam. 
Rob, hot debate that continued tonight at the village board meeting where trustees demanded that new rules and rental policies be passed to prevent a party like this. You don't see Riley Rogers back there, child. I believe that's him right there. Look at how nice this lady looks, child. This looks like something from the 1960s. Everybody all nice and calm, all dressed up to go to the daggone meeting, child. You don't see his name on the door there or on the on the sign right there it says don't municipal building hours you don't see his name there unlike other people but i digress That's from ever happening again the melanie fitness center in dalton has a large pool and exercise room and last month the taxpayer owned facility for a racing party. among the featured guests a dancer named lonnie pop wow your reaction when you first saw this video i couldn't believe it they was making it rain on her derriere. <laughs> ah, shout out to Miss Stubbs. We know her well. They was making it rain on her derriere, but nothing was going on. You don't know. It was just a misprint. Oh my God, it's not a big deal. The Melanie Fitness Center in Dalton has a large pool and exercise room. And last month, the taxpayer-owned facility was used for a racy adult pool party. Among the featured guests, a dancer named Lonnie Pop. Wow. Your reaction when you first saw this video? I couldn't believe it. They was making it rain on her derriere with $1 bills. That type of activity belonged at a strip joint or at a private club, not in a village-owned and operated building. The fitness center manager rented the space to promoters for $500. Uh-oh. Oh, we talking about receipts. Hey, receipts. Hey, receipts. A money order for 500 pool party. Clear as day. Melanie Fitness Center, 629 or 529, 2016. Facility rental rules. Okay, so they do allow you to rent. All right, well, what's in them rules, child? What's in them rules? and other village officials say they were never consulted. The party should not have went on. Dalton trustee Dwayne Muhammad chairs the fitness center. There he is. And his son is the general manager. Muhammad says there was nothing illegal or even improper. It was a pool party, and with the pool party, people have on bathing suits. And that's how young people dance nowadays. So you cannot censor how people dance at a pool party. Sir, I don't think this has anything to do with how people were dancing, but way to deflect, Dwayne. Way to where this man at? All the Dalton people, where this man at? The promoter says no alcohol was served at the party, and the KFR ad was a mistake. He defended. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So that was a mistake. So the hookah is okay. I guess the food is okay. They got three jacuzzis and the the food, the hookah. You colored, you colored, you stay coloring since 2016 and beyond. It was a mistake. He defended Pop's routine, adding that there was no nudity. Thank you. End of my appointment. At the board meeting. Uh, 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 your girl was here though. There's your girl. Ain't this Robert Hunt right here? If you can see my mouse right next to Big Tiff. Is Robert Hunt still looking like he don't know what's going on? If that is him. And then Riley Rogers all the way over here to the left. He's the daggone mayor at this point. The lady that was outside that looked nice right here in the front. I wonder if that's his wife or his uh, boo thing. Allegedly, allegedly. I don't know, child. I don't know. But she certainly was hanging out there, wasn't she? Tonight, a video of the pool party was shown and trustees moved to ban all adult pool parties at the Melanie Center in the future. Why would we want to put a black ass? on this village for people to look at across the, 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 this state. Mm. And everybody here probably agrees that it's wrong. And all we got to do is stop it. Everyone does not agree that it is wrong, sir. Go talk to Dwayne Muhammad. He said there's nothing wrong with it. Now, we ain't heard from his son, but he said there was nothing wrong with it. So there must not be nothing wrong with it. And that's exactly what the board unanimously voted to do. Why would we want to put a black eye on this village for people to look at across the, 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 this state? And everybody here probably agrees that it's wrong. And all we got to do is stop it. And that's exactly what the board unanimously voted to do. Reporting live from... They unanimously voted to do what? Stop it? 
It's already happened. So I'm confused. Dalton, Pam Zetman, CBS2 investigators. Thanks, Pam. Let's see what some of the comments say, child. They mad because they weren't invited. Hating old women. Uptight old folks. You know Dwayne was in attendance at that party with his response. I know damn well Dwayne was there. Y'all making a big deal out of it. I'm confused. I just didn't see anything wrong. Well, I'm thinking what's wrong is, is that, first of all, where did the $500 go? So is it on the, I mean, we see the money order. We see that something was signed, but is it supposed to go through channels in order for that to be okayed? If not, then I guess nothing is really wrong. Now, whether you're supposed to have alcohol there, even though I've seen people with glasses, so that part about them not having alcohol is BS. And then you have a, an alleged stripper there. And because that person is an alleged, um, I guess you would call her an OF model today, um, but she's an alleged exotic person. So you want to have her there and whoever paid her. And of course, with the making it rain and everything is everything until it's not. Because as soon as God forbid something happens to some woman there, all hell would break the F loose. Say I'm lying. Say I'm lying. And then it would be a besmirchment on the daggone village hall. How could you let this happen? It's not right. It's not fair. See, people like this don't think about the potential ramifications, especially if you're doing something you ain't supposed to. Then you're going to sit up there and have alcohol and hookah, which hookah can get you, you know, up there and zooted as well. Then alcohol. Then was there any like chaperones, like not like their kids, but somebody that watches everything? Was there any lifeguards there? Because God forbid if someone drowns because of said hookah alcohol or because somebody playing around and they don't know how to swim because don't act like your colors know how to swim because you don't. But see, people like this don't think about things like that. And you have to because I'm pretty sure the place is probably insured by the daggone village child. You can't, you can't make this ish up, but it's not like everything was everything. It seems here in Dalton, shout out to the research. Anyway, that was probably the last time that this village of Dalton board of trustees and everybody agreed unanimously. That was probably the last damn time. Anyway. Y'all, let me know what you think. Of course, as always, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. I see you all in the next one. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Superman. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail, jail. Gato. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Just come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. Oh. <laughs> say that, folks. Don't you, your man, say it.